What is up, everybody? Dak here. And this is probably going to be the conclusion of at least the build part of it. And, well, I suppose we'll play it now. It's all together. Uh, there is some glue still drying. Oh, crap, I'm really zoomed in. Sorry about that. <laughs> there is still some glue drying in the very front and in the very back. Uh, in order to solve the access panel issue, um, you can possibly see how it transitions from, well, glue there to foam tape there with screws and then back to glue. So yeah, that's what I ended up going with uh, instead of a uh, kind of hatch in the middle, just went with a, a strip right across the top. That way too, maybe it being extra wide can help with some strength right above the driver. Although it's only got a span of one foot gap, but still it's quite high pressure, especially when I get a new driver for it, which I'm still planning on doing. <laughs> So uh, all right, I've got to admit, I was going to record the first playing on camera, except curiosity just got the best of me. I, I had to, I had to turn it up. I've been working on this for ages and I thought, no, I'm just going to play a song and see how it goes. And I'm currently in pain. <laughs> this thing's, it's, holy crap. It's, it's insane. Like the maximum, uh, that amp outputs about 30 volts max. So yeah, I've, I've only got about 100 watts on tap right now. It's supposed to be 100 watt per channel into four arms, so it should do 200 watts into a single eight when bridged, but you know our amps are. You know, I've still got 80 kilos um, of concrete <laughs> sitting on top of it right now, uh, just holding it down. Because I do have the clamp meter on it, so I can see the current. and. Yeah, so far from testing, it sounds like it does go down to exact, well, what I was hoping for, which is about 40 hertz and upward. I wasn't expecting this thing to uh, go that deep. Remember, its key aspect is it's super efficient, and in order to be efficient, you trade off going into low frequencies, you know, the iron law and what have you. So, yeah, this thing's big, and it's got only got a single 12-inch driver in it, and holy crap, it's loud so loud but standing in front of it's louder than my car and this thing on a hundred watts is louder than a thousand watts inside a car it's crazy so i'm i'm going to give it a play now oh, another one because it's holy crap it's a, oh it's great uh sorry about the glare i do have the the light on the camera why not some future bass Right, so we're just registering current now. We'll try to get up to one amp. Also, I'm not sure. But that is the shed rattling on about four watts of power. Four watts. Hopefully that's the reflected sound off that wall isn't loud. Oh crap. So you now we're over an amp. That's I think that's measuring roughly peak. So eight watts. It's pretty loud. <laughs> All right, there is something in front of it. Hopefully, it feels like there's a bit of air moving in it, so hopefully this will demonstrate that. So maybe it'll be more efficient if I... <laughs>
convinced impedance matching is a thing and it's glorious. Bloody hell. Oh crap. Once again, 100 watts. 100. 100 watts. Oh crap. I might do a range test eventually on it. But yeah, anyway, as for the build log, it's kind of concluded because it's kind of done. But it's never done. I might still route that at a 45, but it won't be on video and I won't make a video on it. So eh. I'll bog up these kind of holes in it there and there and I'll coat it with like bed liner or something to make it tougher where all my future bass songs are playing our hit. Yeah, I'm happy. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll make a new video when I get the new sub. You can see the wires sticking through right now are pretty janky. These two um, aren't connected to anything. So it's a single voice call sub. So those two are, and they're separated by masking tape. <laughs> Safety first. It's actually nuts. Like, I've had this, this exact driver. This is just the driver I use in, in whatever project I'm working on. But I, I build boxes to do experiments with. And to put in perspective, the last box I built was a 60 litre 12 inch, like 60 litre box for a 12 inch driver tuned to 20 hertz. And technically it took me a while to make because I made the flares for it and they took ages to make. But other than that, the box itself only took like two days to build. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, this can be like a fill in video and I'll do a more proper audio demonstration with Holy crap, this thing zooms in far. Those are raised speakers right there. If it looks wobbly, it's because they're about like eight meters away or something. Yeah, I'll have them hooked up. Actually, yeah, for my birthday, I'll have two of those hooked up with this. And oh, crap. I, hopefully they're efficient. Oh, yeah, those are damn efficient too. Except I'm going to have a thousand watts on tap for this. Am I going to use a thousand watts? Oh, sh I really should not. But I'll use 1200 watts with the... Yeah, I'm just stroking it. Whoa. Anyway, this will conclude it. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, yeah, yeah, turn off. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, because I'll do more stuff on this thing eventually, and maybe I'll come up with some new box types. But the horn is pretty fantastic from what I've heard so far. This is the first bass horn I've ever seen, I've ever heard, and I've built it, and it works. So you can trust things you see on the internet sometimes. Yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next episode. Ooh.